Hello friends, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral and I know it's been a while but I've got a great recipe for you guys today and I'm really excited about making them because I'm super hungry. <laughs> First thing I want to show you guys is how I make my homemade Bisquick mix. Now Bisquick itself, in my opinion, for as fast as I can make it homemade and as more cost effective I can make it. Um, it's not worth buying in the store so I make my own and a lot of people have been asking me to share my recipe with you guys. Now depending on how much Bisquick you actually want to make um, you will have to you know double or triple this recipe and then once it's combined very very well I put it in an airtight container and I leave it in my refrigerator so I'm going to show you guys how I make this so I need a bowl of course and I need three cups of all-purpose flour I need one and a half tablespoons of baking powder this is what gives the Bisquick that rise. And then you're going to need three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. and then three tablespoons of oil. Now I'm using vegetable oil, but you can also use butter. And you kind of just want to drizzle it over it. And then you want to take a whisk and you want to make sure that this is good and combined. Because you want to make sure that your baking powder is good and incorporated into your flour so that you get a good even bake every time when you use your ingredients for any recipe. So that is it. That is how I make my homemade Bisquick. Now I'm going to move on and show you guys how I make my homemade beer rolls. These are fantastic. My neighbor actually gave me a beer because he knows that I make these. And he, he said, I'll let you have the beer if you will uh, make me those <laughs> beer rolls. So I've got my Bud Light here. And all I need is to open it. Okay, I'm back. I actually didn't need a bottle opener at all. My son just used his hands. So to your baking, your Bisquick mix that we just mixed up, you want to add in two tablespoons of sugar. And one cup of beer. And I'll put the full ingredients down below for you guys. So you guys will know exactly how much to use. This is going to be a really thick batter so if you can't stir it anymore with this like I can't uh, just use a spatula and it'll be fine. You want to preheat your oven at 400 degrees and you're going to bake these at around 15 you're going to bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they're good and golden brown now I'm going to get this good and incorporated and then I'm going to spray my muffin pan and I'll be right back to show you how to fill the muffin pan. So we got the mix all together as you can see here. Now if your uh, ingredients look a little dry just add a little bit more beer to it um, until you get a good sort of like a bread dough consistency. You know probably a little bit looser than a bread dough actually but just like that generously grease your muffin pan and I have because these have a tendency to stick whenever you bake them so just make sure that you uh, cover them you know cover your pan very well so I'm gonna fill each one of these cups up I'm not sure how much how many of these will actually make but probably about three-fourths of a way 
they make a pretty big biscuit because they rise really big. For one thing, beer has yeast in it, but another thing, the, um, the baking powder adds a lot of lift to these too, so. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. As long as they're clean, you're good. These are my son John's favorite rolls. And if you are having company and you need something quick, like a side of bread, and you don't have time for yeast to rise and, you know, all of those things that require, that are required to make bread, this is really an easy go-to recipe. As long as you have beer in the house, or if you have a husband that drinks beer, you can steal one of his. This usually makes almost a dozen, if not a dozen. So, depending on how big you want them, you will have to adjust your baking time. Just make sure that you keep checking them, especially if you make them smaller than I am, because, um, you know, the tops will get a little golden brown, but you don't want them to get too, too brown or they'll be overbaked. We're just going to stop there. I'm going to pop these in my 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes and I'll be back to show you guys what they look like. Okay, we're back. My beer rolls or biscuits, people call them either one, are done. They are piping hot. But you can see that they're done because they're nice and brown on the bottom. And you want to be careful not to burn yourself. But these can be served as a side of bread with your dinner, or you can have these with cream of chicken and use these as your biscuits. You can also use these for sausage gravy, which is really, really good because the beer actually adds to it a little bit. Now it doesn't have a super potent beer taste, but it's kind of like a mild sourdough bread if I had to describe it. And you can see some of these I filled a little bit more and some a little less. But that's okay because they come out delicious every single time. And I'm trying not to burn myself. They're scalding. They literally just came out. And there's my little one. I made me a smaller one because I'm trying to count my calories. And these count pretty high. So. I'm going to eat this one. I thought I would break it open and show you guys what it looks like. It's really, really hot. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. See that? Hopefully you can. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> These come out perfect every time I make them. Um, and note too that the alcohol, you know, cooks out of them, so there's no alcohol actually in them. They just have a little bit of a mild beer taste to them. They are delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you guys are try making these. Or if there's any other um, recipes you guys make with beer, because I'm intrigued and I'd like to know. Yeah, so I think I'm going to let you guys go so I can eat this. This is so delicious. I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.